Hi guys! You already know my name! So... Hey everybody, it's Gil here with the Sailing Vessel Dream Chaser, and in last week's episode, I answered the question, hey, why aren't you guys sailing? Where's the boat? It's come up a bunch of times, so we went ahead and answered it. If you haven't seen that video, uh, I'll put a link to it right up in this corner. If you're watching on a mobile phone or a tablet, it'll pop up here. If not, I'll put a link down in the description below. For those that are just tuning in for the first time, by all means, welcome to our channel. Um, I would give you a little bit of history. So my wife and I, for the last eight years, have refit and lived aboard and cruised on two different sailboats, a 43-foot Gulf Star Sloop and a 51-foot Formosa, which is a cutter rig catch. Um, and just recently, we decided to go ahead and purchase a home and make that our full-time residence and still use the boat for trips, etc. So we went into some of those details. Um, you know, after eight years of um, you know, living on the boat and three plus years, over 300 episodes of content every week about that, this by all means is certainly a change of pace. I'm sitting on the dock where we're going to actually park the boat as soon as we sail it over here. This week we do something pretty exciting. Um, I'm, I'm thinking this is going to be pretty cool. I think you'll like it too. We went to a small little home and garden show and we saw a local artist that had painted these beautiful murals of manatees and dolphins and whatnot on the walls inside of the um, of this convention center. Um, we got to talking with this woman. Her name is Sandra Peast. She's out of this little Pine Island, west, uh, west coast of Florida area. But she does beautiful work and she had some of her paintings and photographs of her paintings and murals she's done there. Um, you know, if you've watched or followed us on any of our social channels, you know how much we love our Formosa. Um, there's something about that cutter rig catch layout, that uh, Taiwanese turkey or leaky tiki as they call them, but she's big and bold and has beautiful curves and I think she just does something deep down inside for both Deb and I. So we love the way she looks and we show this uh, artist a picture of them and asked if there was any way she could paint us a mural of this. Um, and not just any mural. We actually did it right on the front of the house. I'd say only in Florida, but the reality is I'd probably do this wherever I happen to live. But it seems to go perfectly with the motif and everything else of this entire sort of waterfront area where all the homes are on the water as well. So stay tuned. I think you guys will love that. Um, it's coming up. It's actually two full days of painting covered in two minutes just later in this video. So it's a neat little time lapse of seeing an artist do their work. When we first moved into the house, we knew we had to do quite a bit of trimming on some of the palm trees and the landscaping. And frankly, palm trees are something we didn't know anything about. So Deb found this local company, Florida Tree and Ground Maintenance, and they did a really good job. Um, we had them come out and cut down a big um, sort of rubber tree that was you know, touching the roof and it was just sort of like a super highway for rats and rodents to get into the house from outside. So we certainly didn't want that. And I think a couple of weeks ago, we might've shown a video of that. You saw them cutting down that tree. They did a really good job. So we had them come back out um, and you can see here they're, they're pruning this Bismarck uh, palm tree. And what they're really getting done on the inside of this thing is they had these things called seed pods. And literally there are hundreds and thousands of these seeds. They're about the size of golf balls that fall down in there. So we asked them to please prune out all of the seed pods that they could. Um, so they pulled all of those out of there and did a really good job doing that. After removing all of the seed pods, they then went to um, pruning the trees and working in the garden. You can see in the background, they're moving the lift up here. It's amazing the equipment they bring out there. They had a front end loader with a platform lift. They had that cherry picker. The guys all had um, chainsaws and individual um, hedge trimmers and whatnot rakes, the whole bit. So they had this truck and trailer and then they had another truck and trailer um, that they also brought. There was a crew of like five or six of these guys. They, uh, they made good and fast work of getting all this stuff done. What's nice about it is they pick up every piece of the scrap that they have, um, they pile it all in front of the house, and then the second truck also has a wood chipper and, um, and grinder on it. So basically all this stuff gets ground up and shot right into the back of their truck. Um, taking a look here at the front of the house, we have this thing here called an areca palm. Um, they're really nice. A lot of times they're used for privacy fences because again, these little seed pods will drop down and these things just turn into a giant cluster of 
of um, palm trees, right? And, you know, some are small ground height, others, you know, get up 10, 12, 15 feet high. Um, I pruned quite a few of these out of here myself a few weeks ago, but I wasn't sure how far I could take this thing down. What's neat about this tree is it kind of looks like sugarcane or bamboo, but only bigger around. Um, so they did their magic in here and, and kind of cleaned all of this up as well. The other thing we had to do is clean these little tiny palm trees in the front corner of the house. These suckers have all kinds of thorns and everything else on them, but they made those things look really good too. It's amazing how fast they, you know, make up this work, right? Like chainsaws and cut all the fronds down. You got another crew of guys coming over here and dropping out all the, all the scrap they're getting. Um, frankly, we probably could have even done more, but this looks really good to us. A couple of weeks ago, um, I bought a bicycle and we got this thing for McKinley called the We Ride which kind of connects and almost makes it like a tandem bike. It kind of pulls it like a trailer, but she gets to pedal as opposed to just those trailers. So we go on our little Saturday morning bike ride and date, and today we're going to Starbucks. Um, but what I noticed is when I look at the footage later of her, <laughs> sometimes a little turkey's just got her feet up on the bar, chilling out. Sometimes she's pedaling, sometimes she's not. But you can see she's... Uh, not always cooperating, but we just finished leaving Starbucks and we decided to go meet Deb over at this um, convention center that's just a couple of miles from the Starbucks. Um, we rode over there and they were having a little home and garden show kind of thing. So it was neat. We were actually riding right down along um, some of the main drags, Highway 41 here in Punta Gorda, kind of came up to the convention center, um, did our little loop around and then just kind of parked the bike and tied it up to these pipes. When we got done with that, we were riding home and decided to swing by Ace Hardware. I needed a couple of screws for the bike. With the exercise out of the way, it was now time to clean this little um, architectural accent that we have in the front of the house. While we were at the Home and Garden Show, we found something really cool. And Deb and I were thinking that this might be an interesting place to go ahead and... Um, and do that interesting thing, which we'll show here in a few minutes in the video. Stay tuned, I think you guys will really like this. Uh, basically two days worth of work, compressed down into two minutes here in a minute. So stay tuned and check that out. I decided after we had the landscaping guys come over here and do all that uh, trimming and cutting of the landscape work, that given that we're gonna do something with this little white architectural accent, it was time to get rid of this doggone tree thing we had there. Um, we wanted to get rid of it right away. It looks like it was probably some shrubbery that somebody just ignored for many, many, many years. So it frankly turned more into a tree than it did some kind of a bush. Um, but yeah, we <laughs> we decided to cut this thing down and, um, and just scrap it all. Um, amazingly enough, I was able to use these loppers and cut most of the branches off. Uh, I was able to put all of this right into our, um, you know, our greenery trash can that we need on trash can days. So all you do is put this out on the road on Saturdays and they will take all of this stuff away, which is wonderful. So the other day, Deb and I went to this little like uh, home and garden show here in the Port Charlotte Convention Center or whatever it is. And they had these beautiful murals on the wall. And there was a lady there who happened to paint that mural. She was, you know, kind of selling some of her artwork. Basically, she does murals in homes. She also does some outdoors really creative stuff like in these pocket ceilings or whatever they call them a lot of times she would paint things and some were really cool it looked like cracked stucco and you could see the sky coming through um, but she did beautiful underwater scapes and everything else so we have this spot in the front of our house we actually thought maybe there was like i don't know maybe it was a old window they closed up but apparently it's a style here a lot of the house ha houses have this but how perfect i mean it's like a canvas waiting for something to be done so we gave her pictures of our boat, of Dream Chaser, and kind of told her what we want. So it's gonna be a little bit of beach with the water, um, you know, a nice grayish blue sky with, um, you know, uh, orange and orangey lit clouds, if you will, right? So like the sun's setting in the background and the clouds are grabbing all that color with a palm tree in the foreground and our boat taking up a good third of that picture. So it's exciting. I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. But I just went ahead and cleaned up that section. And as you saw, cut down that god awful tree that was sitting right in front of it. It was a shrub that had been neglected so long it turned into a tree for the most part. And if we were gonna do nothing with it, that would make sense. But given that that's gonna be an accent piece, I think we'll uh, keep that uh, little bush right out of there. And then you can see Deb's got some plants here. We'll plant those on either side of it. Um, kind of see how it looks when it's done. Then we'll figure it all out.
painting done, it was time to go on another business trip, but I saw the oddest looking sunrise coming through the clouds coming out of Fort Myers. It was wild. This is crazy in the Charlotte airport. It's like a damn bomb went off in here. Crazy. Well, I've arrived at my destination uh, going to Minneapolis. Um, and, you know, these little. Um, unmanned trams are always kind of interesting to ride in. I usually try to get in the front just to, I don't know, look out the front of it, but it seems weird just standing there staring out the window with no driver, especially as you see this end coming quickly. Next stop, Carbon Fluid Light Rail, Internal 203. Please stay clear of the doors. While I was at my customer site during a break, I looked out here and I took this video because the girls are always asking me about what trees look like in the fall when they actually are um, changing colors. So I set these pictures for them, figured they'd appreciate it. And then it was back on my way home uh, or early the next morning. Uh, I love looking at a sunrise from the sky. Not quite as good as from the ocean, but it looks good from the sky as well. So I took these video, um, footages uh, as we were, see, I, th I, think, I think it was with, as we were leaving Minneapolis, but we were landing in Chicago for the layover. So it was kind of neat coming into O'Hare and seeing this as well. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. And if you did, do us a favor, give us a thumbs up. If you're interested in this kind of waterfront living and sailing videos, we will be sailing again soon, as soon as we get the boat sailed back over here. Um, do us a favor, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So from Gil, Deb, and the girls, we wish you safe sailing and a following sea. Bye, y'all.